Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy holidays. It's the official start of Elmas. I am so excited. I do have Vlogmas coming for you for those of you who have been asking and I'll try and do as many uploads as I can but I will be vlogging every day until Christmas as is tradition on this channel. As is also tradition for me, I now have my free gift with purchase up. And every year I kind of try and top the previous year in terms of the value that I offer um, for that free gift with purchase. So I remember way back um, we started with just around $50 and now we're at around $100 for the free gift with purchase. So if you spend over $180, you get a pair of earrings that I just launched that I'm going to show you and that pair is valued at 99 and it's actually for sale if you do want to buy it. These aren't just, you know, limited editions or things that are gonna just be a giveaway item. They're actually items that I designed and planned to sell that I've decided to give away for purchases over a certain amount. For the silver earrings, you have to spend 180. Show you a little glimpse. These are the Berkshire earrings and they are a lot like the Anjou um, pearl hoops, but I think they're quite a bit more lax because the pearl is both more elongated and just larger. It's super lustrous and gorgeous. Um, and it hangs from this sterling silver ear wire that's balanced so that you won't lose it. It's extra long. Um, so they really look like they're floating on your ears. Very minimal hardware, but very shiny. Um, and they're the perfect everyday earring. That's kind of what I designed them to be. And then for the gold earrings, which are my snowflake pearl hoops, which are aptly named because they move around so much. So I wanted to wear them for this video so you can kind of see that, although I'm not walking around so they won't move that much. Um, but they really are just so dainty and pretty and I love that they are hoops but you don't feel like you're wearing anything. So these are 14 karat gold filled um, with freshwater pearls and they're valued at $129 and you have to spend $250 to get those. So please check out those new launches um, even if it's just to see the little pop-up and automatic add to cart um, that took me until like one o'clock in the morning yesterday to put together the logic of like if you spend this amount then you get this versus if you spend a greater amount then you get that and making that work on the site was a nightmare I'd never done that before um because it's a you know a new thing that I'm doing for this big um free gift with purchase so um, that's up on my site now and will last through to November 30th. So it's essentially my Black Friday sale um, and you can shop for those amounts with anything. You get a free pair of sterling silver and pearl earrings if you buy a scarf plus, you know, maybe a little gift for someone in your family. This is the remainder of my Nouvelle Apparel collection, um, which is the rainbow collection for fall winter. Um, and these are my most worn colors. Everything is in pretty short supply, so at the moment I have less than 10 in stock for every individual color. This is the indigo, the jade, and the amethyst. And I've been wearing the indigo a lot because I just think it looks really good with neutral colors. It looks really beautiful with gray. Normal people call these like earth earthy colors so the combination of like earthy and jewel tones is always you know I think a good idea um, but in my mind the way I think about it is um, if you've ever watched the movie The Holiday Cameron Diaz wears like every shade of oatmeal knitwear in it and watching that movie is like a warm hug. My personality is very color loving. I love jewel tones, but I love a base that's neutral. So something like this oatmeal um, cashmere little twin set just looks really perfect with a bright color like this and really brightens your day. It is so dark out right now, especially with daylight savings, making it feel like it's light outside for about 15 minutes per day. That's it for lflorence.com. That's all I'm gonna say. But the best way to think about it is this is my um, highest value sale that I will have done this year or ever, really getting $100 for spending less um, than twice that amount um, is really good value. It gives you a really pretty um, result that you can wear every day or give away as a gift for someone who is on your list. More of that um, to come. I've got something to cover every basis in this video. 
All right, so we're gonna start with affordable gifts, work our way up, and then end with advent calendars. So I wanna show you my most affordable little stocking stuffer gift or the perfect little gift um, for a young adult or something to make a pricey purchase fun are AirPods cases. So if you know, you know, young adults in your life and they have a favorite kind of cartoon or movie or something like that, I pretty much guarantee you there's gonna be an AirPods case for it. I love the rubbery finish of them. They're just really pleasant to hold. So this one is for us older young adults. Just kidding, these are pretty much from the 90s. So I have a Sailor Moon um, one here and these are the AirPods Pro, but most of these cases are also available in the regular. Um, and then I've got this Marie one from the Aristocats that I think is super cute and then this gray cat that I don't think is from any particular cartoons and I try and share gifts with you that I have actually given previously or I'm going to gift to people in my life and last year to one of my good friends um, who has everything I gave a Totoro um, AirPods case and it was a big hit. So, you know, for people who, who are kind of into quirky things or difficult to buy for, this is a really nice little cheapie. For the people in your life who are into stationery, it just gives you so much joy when you get nice stationery. So I'll link a few of my favorites down below, but a super easy buy that is super nostalgic for us, you know, who grew up in the 90s are scented pens, um, but the, I think they're getting popular again because Papermate has put out two lines. So one is candy scented and I highly recommend the brunch one because I mean who doesn't like brunch? And the colors and um, scent combinations they came up with are super fun. So the brown one is my favorite. It's coffee, big surprise. And it actually smells like a sweet latte. It smells really good. Um, and I love that they're not just like the boring old flavor. So instead of being just regular blueberry, this one is vanilla blueberry tart. And it does kind of smell like that. It kind of also smells like um, a My Little Pony, you know, like that slightly like plasticky smell, but in a really um, good way. I really enjoy using these. And as I'm talking about this, you're probably thinking, well, that would make the perfect gift for my 12 year old niece. And it would, but it also would make the perfect gift for the person in your life who's a grown up who's studying um, for super intense, serious exams. Like I was with the bar exam this summer. Guess what I used to mark up my Barbary um, notes. So, you know, you're never too old for fun things. And this is one of them that's super affordable. I think it's like about $12. I have a couple of links for this item and most of the ones that I'm going to mention. Next, for those of us who are technophobes, and I guess I'm one of them. I like technologies in some ways, like I love my AirPods, um, but I'm actually selling my iPad on my Elf Lawrence closet um, site because I've never used it. I got the whole kit with the brand new iPad um, earlier this year and I've never ever used it. I just can't let go of being able to make lists on a piece of paper and I think I'm not alone. So I wanted to find an affordable little notebook brand that is cheaper than moleskin but has a similar feel. Um, so you can get moleskins, they're wonderful. They're, you know, I think most people's all time favorite little black notebooks. Um, but I like that this one has a little fun metallic detail. I think it makes it a little bit more special actually in some ways. Um, and it's lined and the feel of the paper is not cheap, which is so nice. Um, it really does feel much more premium than it is. I think these retail around the $20 mark. There's a few different sizes and color options, um, but they would be the perfect gift for your technophobe friend or family member or person who just really likes making lists. I'd have to go back and look, but I think this may have been mentioned in my gift guide last year or during Vlogmas. This little Yeti Tiffany Blue Thermos is one of my favorite gifts. I get so much use out of this because now that I have a car and drive, I like to have my coffee be warm and not spill on my beige seats. And this is really the only cup that I fully trust with that. Um, and it really does keep things hot, not just warm, but hot. 
um, for hours. So it's perfect if you're going on a road trip or something like that. It's not cheap, but I think it presents really beautifully for a gift and it's, you know, appropriate for really anyone. So if you are giving a nice gift to someone that maybe you don't know that well, this is perfect. Another gift um, that I've been really enjoying giving around the $50 mark, depending on what size and brand um, you get it from, is this is really just an idea of um, getting a vase and then putting some nice flowers around this time of year, even some pine branches in it, which would be super festive, especially when you go to someone's home. I think it's such a beautiful hostess gift to bring them something that, you know, they don't have to sit there and chat to you and make you coffee or something and put the flowers in water, but instead you bring it, it's already in water. Maybe the flowers are already in it and you just need to add water if you are driving. But I think this is my favorite vase that I've ever purchased. Um, I really like the ombre effect and the texture of it. Um, and I noticed that since I purchased this, Anthropology has greatly expanded its selection. So I will link their current selection in the info bar down below, but this one is available in a smaller version in green now, and it's just gorgeous. It's the perfect kind of like everyday vase that works with a lot of different types of flowers. There are a lot of candles on the market for, you know, under a hundred that are really beautiful and they're going to smell really festive. But here's the thing, most of them come with glass jars that you can use for cotton balls or something like that, but none of them actually come with something you can actually cook with. But it is a really nice candle. They use a nice quality of wax. You can see there's no smoke around the exterior of the jar because it's burned super clean. And it's lasted for a long time. I think I mentioned this in a what I eat in a video or something about a month ago. And this is, you know, how much is left, which is quite a lot given that I've burned it, you know, a couple of times a week or something like that. So I really love this idea. And it also comes in a smaller, slightly less expensive size. So I will link that down below. But I, I just think it presents more beautifully than even like a deep tea candle in some ways because what are you really gonna do with that glass jar after I mean I keep them as well I wash them out and keep them but there's only so many of those that you need in your life whereas how fun would it be to have a collection of these little copper pots in your kitchen like I said I'm not sure I would really cook with it but um, it would be great to like serve little appetizer things in like some crackers or something which is not something that you would really do with a normal candle jar. I'm gonna hang my earrings on this coffee mug because I can see my kitties are eyeing the dangly sparkly things. They have expensive tastes like I do. So this set, um, which is not a set of three but rather a set of six, I'm just showing you half the set. So it's for breakfast or brunch for two people, is the Christmas set. It's the toy one from Villaroy or Villaroy, however you want to say it. Um, and I really love this set and I purchased this last year so this is my second season using it and I think it retails around the $80 mark which for a set of China from a luxury brand is pretty wonderful and you know what I love about their China? I have quite a few of their mugs. It doesn't chip or wear um, like other brands do. I don't know what it is about the glazing that they use but it still looks absolutely perfect after many 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 times in the dishwasher you guys know I don't do dishes by hand so everything just still looks really beautiful even though some of it is gold as well and now any notions of tacky kind of go out the window around the holidays like I am here for you know a sparkly moment at Christmas um, but I like that this is a little bit more understated and they actually have a version of it that doesn't even have the burgundy so it's all kind of more gold um, tones and I just really love it. I like the simplicity of the Christmas tree, the little different symbols of Christmas. There's a nutcracker on there and little different toys and mistletoe. I just think it's really festive but I don't get tired of using it. 
Um, and I really like the shape of the mug if you have an espresso coffee maker. Um, not every mug is, you know, like a great size to use for all the different sizes of pods. Um, but this one um, actually works for virtually any pod size. So on to a higher price point. You guys know giving the gift of cozy is always my favorite thing. A little bit about my Nouvelle Apparel cashmere scarves, um, but they actually double as a wrap. So they're oversized. They have a lot more fabric than the average scarf does and I've never really mentioned actual scarves and I think this one is really cute I'm going to put it on but it's actually a men's scarf um, but I don't see why you know you couldn't gift it to a woman or wear it yourself if you want to it's got a houndstooth um, print to it in a very dark green and I think a navy but they almost look black so it'll look nice with any you know seasonal coat pretty much that anyone would have um, and it's very thin and light I think the price to quality ratio is really good on this one it reminds me a lot of Burberry scarves they do a lot of smaller scarves like these ones um, which are beautiful gifts around the holidays but they retail around three four hundred dollars this one is 80 so I think it's a really nice price point and it's from Ralph Lauren which is a really nice brand that previous to this fall winter season really needed a little bit of a facelift in terms of what they were offering which was kind of very like 2000s preppy i think they've given it a little bit of an update to be more classic almost a little bit more like barber i feel like the styles of the two brands are kind of aligning really well where one is like you know more british country chic and this one is more american i have a beautiful collection out right now for men and women um and it's something that i've shopped from for this holiday season and that i bought for myself as well in the nordstrom anniversary sale but those items from the sale like the sleeveless puffer are now on sale again for this season you know for all the black friday sales so i will link that down below if you wanted to gift outerwear for men or for women i'll link the whole collection it's really nicely done very classic very wearable from a nice brand um, that has gotten a little bit of a nice little um, i don't know it's not a huge change i think in the styles but they've kind of updated it a little bit in a nice way for cashmere apparel other than my own so for sweaters you guys know every season I can't help myself I just have to expand my cashmere collection some more so I have three suggestions for you um, but I can't show you all of it so the one I can't show you I will include a screenshot for because it's in the mail everything's running like a little bit slow right now shocking I know but I haven't bought anything from them in over two years now it's just been kind of out of sight out of mind for me and they had a bit of a like la lackluster I think season right around the time I stopped buying from them and then kind of forgot about it and then a lot of interesting new cashmere brands came out but they do have a really beautiful collection out right now and i'm here with this important public announcement very important that my two favorite cashmere styles are finally trendy again as in i can find some new ones to buy one is cable knit i think we have Taylor Swift to kind of thank for that because she brought the whole like chunky cable knit cardigan thing back and you know took it back from our grandparents who always knew that it was like you know a wonderful thing um and so those are much more widely available I'll link a couple of my favorites um down below but what Club Monaco has and a couple of other brands are cowl necks and a few of you guys might be like, what What even is that? So cowl neck is like a turtleneck, but a thousand times better because turtlenecks make your head look as if it's floating, especially if it's dark. I've always kind of thought that it looks kind of weird in photos, um, but you get the same kind of cozy chic vibes, but better. It's just more flattering in literally every single possible way. It's more slimming. Um, because you get that nice drape and it allows you to wear necklaces and kind of complement that switch it up you can wear a scarf I feel like a little bit more easily as long as it's not too much fabric they're just better they're just better than turtlenecks I'm sorry if you love turtlenecks but anyway finally I can buy some more of them um, so Nadam has I think the best cardigans that are a little bit oversized 
another like controversial statement while I'm just out here, you know, just like challenging everyone. Um, I do like the Nadam boyfriend cardigan better than the Jenny Kane ones. I know, isn't that so shocking? I mean, I do really like my Jenny Kane one, but it's just so oversized that you can only really wear it either open, like over a dress or something, or with skinny pants. Whereas a cardigan like this one, you know, I feel like you can wear with anything, which is kind of like how I like my cardigans to be for the price. This one fits right into my whole like oatmeal cashmere fantasy that I've been living in for the last decade of my life. Um, and I really love it. And then Naked Cashmere um, has a brand new collection that has a lot of cable knit in it. Really beautiful styles. They have a few sweater dresses as well. All of it is kind of very oatmeal-y, olive-y, nice brown tones. I know brown sounds like a weird um, color to recommend, but this v-neck I've gotten so much wear out of because it looks good with everything. And I think there's something really comforting about like shades that are in the chocolate family for me right now. And last thing to mention for the fishermen in your life, um, these Sims outerwear pieces are so wonderfully made, recommended to me as a really durable, well-made brand that is geared towards fishing, but can be worn for outerwear activities. You guys know I like Patagonia, gotta have your Patagucci here on the West Coast. Um, but I think Sims is very underrated and also a lot less expensive than Patagonia or Arcteryx. Arteryx, I, I can never say it, um, but it's a lot more affordable and um, I feel like more underrated, so I thought I would mention it. So this is the um, Challenger jacket. Um, it's an outer layer, an outer shell. I'm told that what you should look for in a jacket like this um, is that it needs to be waterproof, not water resistant, waterproof. There's gonna be a really big difference in quality. But I really love the color of this one and how sleek and just understated it is, but you can really see the quality and all of the detailing, like the cuffs that cinch in to keep the water out. And I really appreciate that the fabric of it, the material, isn't plasticky because I personally really dislike that feeling of a raincoat that's like kind of stiff and crinkly and plasticky. It kind of like makes weird noises when you move. Um, this one, it sounds like fabric, right? Temis. This year, I'm keeping it cheap. I really didn't want to spend a lot of money on a fancy loose leaf situation where most of the time you get to listen to me whine about how they're all way too sweet. I feel like I need to step out of that so I can step back into it maybe next year or something like that when I've had a little bit of a break. Um, but since I'm traveling to Hawaii towards the end of Vlogmas, I thought this one would be perfect because they're actually individual, here I'll open it so that you can see what it looks like. They're individual tea bags, one per day, so it's not like an overwhelming amount, um, but they're numbered and I just love that they're, none of them are very sweet flavors. I really like that there are things like ginseng matcha that's kind of interesting and different, but it's not like too crazy or they have a chamomile that has vanilla and manuka honey. This is a really good price point because they're just tea bags, um, but it's still a nice tea brand and it's a really nice presentation that you can actually put up on your wall if you want to um, or just pick out the little tea bags as well and travel with them if you are traveling as well. I feel like, you know, many of us who travel for the holidays get these super fancy advent calendars and then you end up opening the rest of it in like mid-January when you're kind of over it. Um, if you do want something a lot more luxurious, highly recommend Portnam & Mason. Their quality of tea leaves is perfect and they have beautiful advent calendars. The nice thing is about everything in this deck that I'm mentioning is as of right now it's all still available. 
Our pets have taken the most wonderful care of us, I feel like, over the last couple of years. Speaking for myself and for my mom, I know we've relied um, on our pets to kind of get us through um, some of these times. So what a perfect year to get a little advent calendar for your felines or canine furry one. So there are two main places that I found good ones at. I will link both of them um, down below. I got one for Lady as well, so that's waiting for her in Hawaii. Um, and that that one's gonna be the 12 days of poodleness so it has 12 this one actually has 25 I think different things in it yeah 25 day advent calendar for cats this many years into vlogmas like basically a decade into vlogmas <laughs> isn't that crazy um, I you know try and switch it up a little bit rather than doing the same ones over and over or buying from brands that I already buy from, where I've already tried a lot of the products. Um, so this year I wanted to feature a small business. So this was purchased on Etsy. She has her business on Etsy. It's called Design Undone. And I found it because I really wanted a candle advent calendar that had good sized candles. Because if you get teeny tiny little candles, like a lot of the luxury brands do, they burn in like, a day like they really do burn much faster than large candles do and so these are four ounce pours and you don't really get it until you get it that they are very substantial so there is one for each of 12 days which is perfect because that'll be the front end of vlogmas before i head over to hawaii and uh, i don't know oh yes I, i'm gonna open one we're gonna spoil one so this is apple crostata i'm not gonna light it until vlogmas but i will show it to you because i really do want to highlight her you know hard work i'll show you what the candle looks like i really think the branding is on point for this brand and look at the cute little you know individual boxes if you somehow had a few left over that you don't want to burn or maybe you just don't like the scent of it wouldn't these make great stocking stuffers i much prefer this over like a dior one or something that has a lot of makeup samples that really should be free in my opinion i know i don't know why i'm just in a controversial mood today so I keep saying these crazy things so um it smells so good you know what's neat about this one? So it obviously smells like apples, but it has the bakery scent, you know, like the smell of the pie crust in it. These are really good candles, you guys. They're not just like your average kind of farm stand pumpkin spice candle. Like they're really very premium smelling. Then I got this Rituals Evan calendar obviously from a much bigger brand but a brand that I'm excited to try because I've always seen a lot of British beauty vloggers talk about their different products. I think like their shower gel or something is really famous. There's a lot of shampoos and other things. There's also I think some candles in here as well just kind of sneaking a peek at the back um, but it's a full 25 days and I'll put a picture up here of what it looks like when it's opened because it's really really beautiful so the combination of trying a new brand that I was curious about and having this kind of quite beautiful almost home decor um, advent calendar that I think looks much nicer than average um, is what drew me to that one so that is it everything is linked down below in the info bar for your shopping pleasure in so many ways being able to give your loved ones a hug during the holidays this year is the best gift of all happy holidays have a wonderful thanksgiving for those of you in the u.s and i will see you in my next video i'm going to try and get one more up before we jump into vlogmas so i will see you then what would you like for christmas this year bb you can tell Santa. I think you're right next to your present, but the nice thing about you, you don't know that because you can't read. <laughs>